Classic Tales, Level One: The Shoemaker and the Elves, retold by Sue Arengo, read by Rick Adamson, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. Who's this? It's the shoemaker. The old shoemaker, and here's his shop. The old shoe shop. It isn't a very good shop. It doesn't make much money. One last pair of shoes, says the old shoemaker. That's all I can make. It's late," says his wife. "Make them in the morning. In the morning, they come down. There's something on the table. It's the shoes. Look!" cries the shoemaker. Magic! He puts the shoes in the window. A lady sees them. Ah, shoemaker, says the lady. What beautiful shoes! I must buy them. Here are three gold coins. Three gold coins," says the shoemaker. "I can make more shoes now. Two more pairs." He goes out, and he buys some more leather. "I have some money," he says. "Look." Three gold coins, two more pairs of shoes," says the shoemaker. "I can make two more pairs now." It's late," says his wife. "Make them in the morning. In the morning, they come down." There's something on the table. Two pairs of shoes. Look! cries the shoemaker. More magic! He puts the shoes in the window. A man sees them. Ah,、oh, shoemaker, says the man. What beautiful shoes! I must buy them. Here are six gold coins. Six gold coins, says the shoemaker. I can make more shoes now. Three more pairs. He goes out. And he buys some more leather. Look, he says, I have some money, six gold coins. I can make three pairs of shoes, says the shoemaker. It's late, says his wife. Make them in the morning. In the morning, they come down. There's something on the table. Three pairs of shoes. Look! cries the shoemaker. Magic again. A family sees the shoes. What beautiful shoes! They say. We must buy them. Here are nine gold coins. Nine gold coins, says the shoemaker. But who is making all 
all these shoes? That night, the shoemaker hides. He and his wife hide. And they wait. At midnight, they see two little elves. The little elves run in. They jump onto the table. Here's the leather, they say. Let's work. Let's make some beautiful shoes. All night they work. They work and work and work. The shoemaker and his wife watch. In the morning, the elves run away. But there's something on the table. Four beautiful pairs of shoes. Now we know, says the shoemaker. We know who helps us. Yes, says his wife. Two little elves. But what can we do for them? I know, says the shoemaker. Let's make some clothes for them. Oh, yes, says his wife. Yes. Night comes. They leave the clothes on the table. Then they hide. At midnight, the little elves run in. What's this? They say. Something for us? For us? Oh, yes, it's something for us. They put on the new clothes and they dance. Dance, dance, dance. Now it's time for us to go because they know, because they know, say the elves. Goodbye, shoemaker. The elves never come back. But now, the shoemaker makes good shoes. He works hard. Now, his shop is a good shop. And he is happy.